YouTube, what's up? Now, as we detach from the third D and two D, well, especially you'll see once you once you stop giving in to the two D, when you stop holding your phone in front of your solar plexus and pancreas and heart, and focusing on that, destroying your spine, when you stop doing that, you'll have a totally different perspective of life, of course, because your spine will be realigning at that point, and you have another level of energy. Of course, it's just like winning a lotto or coming up, getting a promotion or something. Just having more money than you would normally have and you don't even know what to do with. So you might allocate it to things that are beastly just to calm the beast, just to calm the fire inside the beast. Because the beast, of course, wants you to focus on the body, keep you looking downwards, lower towards the lower parts of you so that you stay in the lower dimensions of you. Because the beast doesn't want to be able to see further than the horizon. Once that happens, it is forced to, the beast is forced to accept empathy. The beast is forced to see the connectivity between all things. And once you see that, then, then there's no worry, then there's no anxiety. Once that happens, then you can no longer get worked up to give out to lust. The, the body itself wants to be worked up so that it can create distraction so that it doesn't have to see further than the horizon. It doesn't want to know anything further than the horizon. It's just like anybody that doesn't want to see further down the road than they have to or what they think they have to. So as you detach, you will be granted or you will give yourself the energy back that you will restore you get the energy back that you were once giving to the 2D and the 3D. But as that happens, of course, you're going to a different stage of living with yourself. So the intensity will, will be at an all-time high because you're reaching a new level. Of course, you reach a new level of energy, you reach a new level of problems to solve. Because again, problems are blessings. And the problem is the answer. And of course, asking the correct qu question will answer any problem you have. So, as you detach and you're giving your, you know, you get this, you're giving yourself this energy back, you're gonna have such an intensity from the body because the body realizes at this point that it's pretty much on its way out as far as holding on to this false identity. The false self wants to exist so that you can stay stuck, so that you can stay indulging in lust so that you can basically create crutches to lean on so that you uh, supposedly alleviate yourself of responsibility. That whole sensation, sensation of course of that is the only thing that you get from lust. Of course indulging is never as good as you think it is because it can't be. You can't want what you have. So as soon as you get the lust, it's already a buzzkill. So, what you gotta realize, as you gain you back and you embody self and embody the path, you realize that as you drop these things and let go of these things that hold you here in the 3D and the 2D, the lower dimensions of yourself, focusing on those lower dimensions of yourself, you realize like those parts of you, as they integrate, you never have to do it again unless you, of course, lust to. And then you'll fall back to the, three, the third dimension or the second dimension. So you realize, wow, once you get this path started, there's no going backwards in a sense. You're either gonna create a circumstance where you get pushed out of your body to try to alleviate yourself of responsibility or the feeling of feeling that way. Or you'll realize that as you wake up each day, there is no choice in this matter and that life is just events and that you are going from self to self. So as you let go of the illusions of separation and all that and you're really with yourself inside your own body and realizing that you have to live with your thoughts and where they take you inside yourself, where these thoughts take you within you, where you are when you're thinking a certain thing or feeling a certain way, where in you does that bring you 
as as you realize that those places what they are and you integrate them all together as one of course the lucifer itself the body will just amplify this voice of trying to hold on trying to hold on but then again that is perfect because it lets you know what not to do it's perfect you want the voice of temptation to be deafening to be so loud that you don't even have to listen to it anymore it's perfection in that sense and people don't appreciate the lucifer in that respect because the temptation shows you what not to do so as it gets amplified it basically becomes silent it's just like leaving anything on in the background so long that you no longer hear it that it's there you know it's there it's like when people become smell blind those type of things it's the same situation where you you realize that this is what it is and that you don't have to listen to that music anymore but that music will always be there it's like how there will always be a country music station or always be a rap station or always be these different stations but you don't have to listen to them but they're always going to be there playing their music the way they play it and there will always be the reflections of it tuning in that are on that frequency and to be able to change that or if if you could change things that means people could change you and no one really wants that so again the temptation is a gift and controlling your temperament by controlling your temperature through controlling the pH through fasting and letting go is the only way controlling the breath is the only way to truly see everything else is looking 